special delivery for the next upcoming project. big pallets of concrete. Should be 42 each. Oh, that's got a wide wheelbase. I think it'll squeeze in now. Oh, yeah. No problem. How's it going? Just put it right in here. If you can. That'll work. Okay, I guess he's going to back on in this time. <laughs> well, maybe not. He's yakking with somebody down there. Are here. Our next project we made a quick mention of before is a sidewalk about 60 feet long going down along between my mega shed and the retaining wall here. I worked out a deal with my buddy doing his taxes and a set of tires and he's going to do it for free. So awesome. Yep, we'll uh, get him over and we'll start this project. Alright, well it's been about a week. My buddy Aureliano is coming out this morning. We're going to go ahead and make this sidewalk happen. As I mentioned before, I think, can't re remember on the video, but got everything framed out where the concrete's going to go for the new sidewalk. Went ahead and extended it past the mega shed about another Oh, 20 feet or so. So we're going about 60 feet. 40 foot mega shed plus another additional 20 for our future back deck. So, yeah, got everything pretty much ready. I mean, like I said, this erosion's been working at the posts here. So I need to get that stopped. It was going underneath the mega shed as well. So, yeah, probably going to have the water diverted in both directions, I'm assuming. I'm not sure, but as long as it doesn't go underneath, then uh, we'll be good. So, yeah, once my buddy Aureliano gets started, we'll continue on. All right, what we've got here is a bunch of crushed up, busted up bricks. And having them in those buckets there actually cleaned up a uh, bunch of debris from old projects past. We're just going to bury them because uh, this part of the sidewalk is going to be very thick. It's going to definitely probably come close to the top of the 2x6 possibly. So, yeah, to save on volume, we're using crushed brick. And also, we've got some old tile I'm just going to throw down because don't need it, have no use for it. So we're just going to put that on the base as well. And, uh, yeah, getting the line put down now for making sure it's level and we got a nice slope.
that's what we want as a slope so the water runs down that way instead of under the mega shed so yeah getting it going uh, a little bit of spillage of concrete no big deal it's going to all be buried uh, yeah that's looking good the end of the sidewalk covering up this erosion that's starting to eat away the dirt finally protect from getting underneath the mega sheds so cool coming along nicely little by little yeah and then we'll elevate this with rock as I mentioned before there you go mas rapido mas, mas rapido <laughs> Oh yeah, two, two bowls or two bags of this concrete, that's 160 pounds in that wheelbarrow. And he's saying just mix about 10 bags or 12 on the concrete there and uh, just make it quick and load up the wheelbarrow and then dump it in place. So I'm like, hey, go for it and then just rinse off the, rem the remnants when he's done. Good idea. And then I'll just burn off the, the bags in the fireplace. Recycling. Made easy. <laughs> make a little volcano dome and dump the dry stuff in the pool. Let's build another volcano. Perfecto. Sí. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> A little bit left. We'll see where we're at on the sidewalk. Yeah, looking good. Okay, so I made a bit of a ramp here with debris left over from the foot of the steps of the mega shed here. It's just too much of a drop off for the wheelbarrow and the concrete, so this will probably help at least get around until we start working our way back and probably bust up the rest of this concrete into pieces like this and just bury it. Because, yeah, this is this will probably save us several bags of concrete being able to put some of this down here and it's solid anyway it's just broken pieces so it will just get encased in concrete so that's the plan quick progress report We're probably I'm guessing a quarter of the way done <laughs> wow it's a lot of concrete but that's that's what I want and it's got a bit of a slope you probably can't see it but uh, it's gonna run the water away so it doesn't get underneath the mega shed like maybe towards the retaining wall there so that's good well we're about at the halfway mark the tiles are about the halfway mark to be exact so nice looking good yes we're past the halfway point Looking good. 
Man, we're getting close. Almost to the debris pile or layer, level, whatever. <laughs> nice. We've reached about to the end of the mega shed now. Man, it looks good. Been five years wanting to get this done. Finally, it's happening. Yeah, I might fill in some more and get this nice and level. That'd be great. Perfecto. Yeah, that'll be good. Be nice and level. That'd be excellent. Perfect for when I build the deck eventually on the back of this thing. You just walk right up to it. Yeah, I was kind of wanting to have a little bit of a ramp there anyways because it's going to come out flat and then it kind of drop down to where the sidewalk is to run the water towards the driveway. So, nice. I've got all this extra rock and brick from leftover projects. I actually dug some of this up. <laughs> I've been filling in tree stump holes down in my vacant lot down there. So, huh, cool. Well, this would be great. Perfecto. <laughs> See? Ah, uh, see, okay. Yeah, filling this in to make it nice and level. Good deal. Once all the concrete gets in there, it's going to be nice and solid. Perfecto. Nice. Hey man! Hey, what's going on? Alright. Just... Old friend of mine stopping by to check out the shed and check out the concrete work. That's cool. Nice. This is going to look nice. Oh yeah, I went ahead and got my pole for my gate because I'm still probably going to use the, the gate so we put that there so it doesn't get buried in concrete. <laughs> Mucho concreto. <laughs> Muy bueno. Yeah, we got the neck cutting up wood behind us. Just have to listen to that while we watch the concrete get in the spread. Put a plastic bottle in the hole for the concrete. 
Yeah, that's looking good. Move it in. Yeah, this is looking good. Only this little section is left. We'll finish a 60 foot sidewalk. We're probably looking at about close to four feet at the end, but then it narrows because of the existing blocks and the layout of the mega shed. It narrows to about mm, just under three feet. About two and a half feet here, I think. So, yeah. Still, though, not bad. Almost two full pallets of concrete. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. <laughs> Trying to figure out how many bags we're going to need. Four or five. I'm estimating five. He thinks four. We'll see. Cuatro o cinco. Eh? Cuatro o cinco. Cuatro. Cuatro? <laughs> okay. Maybe cinco. Maybe cinco. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's going to be close. Okay, muy bien. <laughs> Let's see.
because it's the last of it. This looks like the last, last load. Uh, I, so I said Cinco, I might be right, we'll see. <laughs> okay, and yeah, we'll see how this spreads. Yep, I was right. <laughs> ay, yay, ay. No, it's no stab you in. <laughs> yeah, there it is. One last bag. That close. <laughs> uh, see. Oh, stab you in. Ah, uh, see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's that in. Boards aren't level because of the ground.
Oh. No tiempo. No. <laughs> Sorry. No working today. <laughs> Yeah, listo. <laughs> Almost. I'll make it nice and smooth. Qué bonito. Muchas gracias, Aureliano. Okay. <laughs> ah, muy bien. Para ti. Sí. <laughs> Perfectamente. Todo completo. Okay. 60 foot sidewalk. I'll let it cure for a couple days. Si. Sí. Yeah. Muy bonito. Oh yeah, and six pallets left over. I'll just get take those back and get a refund at Home Depot. <laughs>